Hello everyone, good day. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about elements of arts, commercial art, and comic art. Art 6, Quarter 1, Week 1. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to identify the art processes, elements, and principles in arts that use new technologies. Number 2. Identify the use of digital art and its principles applied by elements of design. Number three, creates concepts through art processes, elements, and principles using new technologies, hardware, and software to create a personal or class logo and appreciate the use of digital art in our daily life. Grade six, try to answer the free test. Write true if the statement is correct and false if not. 1. Color affects the mood of the design. Number 2. Size is formed when line encloses. 3. Contrast makes one element stands out from the rest. 4. Harmony makes elements in a design fit together. Number 5. Elements of arts and principles of design make objects visually appealing. You may pause the video to answer this pretest. Let's have a brief introduction. Art plays a vital role in our lives thus, the objects that we encounter on a daily basis whether we deny it or not embodies some elements and principles which make it visually appealing. Elements of art are stylistic features that an artist are incorporating in an art piece to communicate to his or her target audiences. Principle of design, on the other hand, are the rules in composition that one must follow to create an effective and attractive design. Different elements of art like lines, shapes, colors, and textures are used and combined to create wonderful images and paintings using new technologies. Principles of arts like harmony, balance, rhythm, and patterns are also appreciated in digital or commercial art. Art elements and principles are applied even to digital and commercial art created using new technologies such as computers, laptops, tablets, and stylus, etc. In this lesson, you will try to do digital artwork by making a personal logo as a virtual representation using available drawing software. Logo design is an important area of graphic art. The logo design you will create will be inspired by the food product can buy online here in the Philippines. In this generation, just one click, you can get what you want by ordering something online based on the item you're looking for. To distinguish the product that you sell, you must have your trademark so that people may know the product that you can sell. Here are some examples of food product or logo design here in the Philippines. And now, let's talk about elements of arts. Line Line is one of the seven elements of art. It is considered by many to be the most basic element of art. In terms of art, line is considered a moving dot. Line is a mark made using a drawing tool or brush. There are many types of lines. Thick, thin, horizontal, vertical, zigzag, diagonal, curly, curved, spiral, etc. and are often very expressive. Next is shape. Shape is an element of art that is two-dimensional, flat or limited to height and width. Form, an element of art that is three-dimensional and encloses. Volume includes weight, width, and depth, as in a cube, a sphere, a pyramid, or a cylinder. Next is colors. Colors affects the mood of the design. 
Bright color symbolizes radiance, while dark colors denotes gloominess. Colors are categorized into three, primary colors, secondary colors, and tertiary colors. Next is texture. Textures refers to the surface quality in a work of art. Everything has some type of texture. We describe things as being rough, smooth, silky, shiny, fuzzy, and so on. Some things feels just as they appear. This is called real or actual texture. Some things look like they are rough but are smooth. And now let's move on. Principles of Design First, Harmony Harmony can be described as sameness, the belonging of one thing with another, the repetition of design elements like color, texture, shape, and form is one of the easiest ways to achieve harmony to create a composition. Next, Balance Balance is the distribution of the visual weight of objects, colors, texture, and space. If the design was a scale, this element should be balanced to make a design feel stable. Next, Rhythm Rhythm is an art and design refers to a relationship between elements that creates a sense of harmony. Rhythm can be seen in patterns, in a relationships between colors and shapes, and in repetitions of lines and forms. And last but not the least, is what we call pattern. Pattern as a principle of design may be defined as a regular arrangement of repeated same elements et al. Line, shape, colors repeatedly. Pattern usually increases the visual excitement by supplementing surface interest. And now, let's do the activity. For activity number one, computer art, ASC2 art, materials, computer, cell phone, or tablet. ASC2 art is a graphic design technique that uses computers for presentation and consists of pictures pieced together with different letters and symbols from the computer and cell phones. The term is also loosely used to refer to the text-based visual art in general. All typewriters can also be used to create these works of art. Here are some examples of what we call ASC2 art. Procedure Number 1. Using only letters and symbols found on your computer software. Example, MS Word, MS Excel, MS PowerPoint, etc. Using your cell phone or tablet, create an image of your choice. Number 2. If you are using computer software, play with different sizes or font presentations, bold or italics, to create varying images of the same design. If you are using your cell phone, fill up the screen with letters or symbols and leave out spaces to create your image like Albert Einstein image above. If you are having a hard time looking for inspiration, why not create an ASC2 art of your name? What is important is you can create art using the technology that you have in your hand. For activity number 2, if having a computer, cell phone, or tablet may serve as a challenge, you may get the simple concept of computer art through pixel art. A pixel is the basic unit of computer graphics. It is made up of only one shape, a square, and one specific color. Combining all pixels can create powerful images of art and even film. Here are the materials. Graphing papers, pencil, crayons, or any coloring materials. Procedure Number 1. Draw your design lightly on the graphing paper. Number 2. Fill in the boxes with the color of your choice to create the image of your design. And number 3. To make it authentic pixel art, follow the The simple rules of creating a pixel art by hand. Number 1. One box, one color. Number two, there are no half-colored boxes. Number three, 
curves are interpreted like stairs. Look at the Batman logo. Number 4. To achieve shadow or color transition, use one color lighter or darker. Here are the examples. Next is activity number 3, logo making. Make at least two logos, print out and paste it into your notebook. Then, write the procedures did you apply to the logo. Print your work and paste it into your notebook. If a computer or any devices are not available, you can use your pen to draw the different lines and shapes in your notebook. Procedure Number 1. Look for drawing software that is available on your cell phone or laptop. Number 2. Use the application to make a logo if it is necessary. And number 3. Create an icon based on your creativity using drawing software. Always remember grade 6. Digital art is a general term for a wide variety of artistic works and methods that use digital technology. An example of digital art is commercial art. Lines, shapes, colors, and textures are elements that are common not only with traditional handmade art but also with modern digital art. Principles of art, rhythm, harmony, contrast, and emphasis apply even with the use of technology. And to check your understanding about the lesson, answer the following. Direction Read each question carefully. Write your answers in your notebook. Number 1. How important is technology to the arts? Number 2. What will happen to digital arts if the element of arts like colors is not applied? Number 2. On your pixel art activity, what elements of art did you apply? In the picture above, it is handmade artwork or digital artwork. Number 4. Why do you say so? If your answer is digital artwork, what new technology do you think did the artist use? Why do you think so? Number 5. What elements of art are present in the digital art above? What are the principles of art applied? And last but not the least, direction. Answer the following passage using scramble letters. Write your answers to the crossword puzzle. 1. It needs to be considered in making a logo. Number 2. A tool that is used in making digital artwork. Number 3. Factor that develops your skills. 4. Experience in making logos using drawing software. Number 5. Advantage of using digital artwork. You may post the video to answer this question. Write your answers on your notebook. And here we end our lessons about elements of arts, commercial art, and comic art. Grade 6, thank you for listening and understanding our lesson. I hope you enjoy the activities and have fun. This is Sir Ren, your MAPI teacher. God bless you.